I know my mother, going back many years ago, always traveled with Thomas Cook. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, she used to do all her trips with Thomas Cook, so. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a yeah. real shame. I mean, we booked our travel with a travel agent, you know, to come from Australia, because we've been going into Europe as well. But here, when we've done our traveling here, we booked it ourselves. Yeah. And it seems to me that they've, they've, they've hired a foreign airline or another airline. Why can they not use the Thomas Cook aircraft? Sad. And I think that the directorship of that company needs to be investigated. There's no doubt about it. Looking at the bonuses and the wages that they've had, it's totally ridiculous the amount of money that they've had is obscene. And there are so many nice people working for them, even gone in as far as I could see after they'd been sacked to help the people get back from those airports abroad. And uh, it's just, you know, it's ridiculous. I just don't understand what's going on in this world at all. I, I was shocked. I, I feel very sad about it. I feel sad for everyone concerned, all the families, uh, how they're going to cope. But also, I wasn't that surprised in as much as there are so many businesses, big businesses, that are finding it really difficult now in the present climate. The internet has totally changed the way people buy products, including holidays. And I know for myself and my husband, we do not do packages. Everything's done independently online, and a lot of our friends do the same. And uh, sadly, the package holiday, the traditional package holiday that set Thomas Cook up initially, which was very popular in those days, has fallen by the wayside. Yeah and they're a victim of that.